This is Good Morning Mumbai, and you're with Rishi K. Radio One. I've been looking forward to this for a while, and might I add, I'm a massive fan. Ryal Padam says in studio, how are you? Hey, good, good. How are you doing? Wonderful to see you, and I've got to say this. Uh, last weekend was really special because I I got to see Jesus Christ Superstar. I didn't see the original. I was too young at that point <laughs> of time. And people who saw both, uh, Bachchi Aunty, for example, Bachchi mm. Pekari, I was saying that you know it's very difficult to choose between the two. True. It must seem so special the way it's. been received this time around right right you know we've done something that's not been done before really we've had five shows over a weekend and normally we just perform one or two shows and we launched it with five and we're so happy and so excited but you know the the fact that dad has you know this is his legendary production from 74 so lot of expectation lot of expectation lot of people coming to see it and then the second round which you saw last weekend uh was the second outing so that was the next five shows and we were full for those and the response you tell me what did you think i thought it was <laughs> absolutely spectacular right. you know you always think when you when you see weber and i mind you i've seen joseph at the west end mm-hmm. i've seen phantom of the opera you know other than radio if there could be a, a primary passion in my life it's got to be theater and really there was so there was nothing that i could say that hey you know you were lacking and maybe the west end got it better mm, amazing just mm. amazing and it's obvious that all these people you've cultivated have been so beautifully trained talk about those people right. you know your trainers i believe carla's uh, carla's back yes yeah? carla actually you know carla has been with us from day 1 in terms of musical theater she is it she's the last word you know she's trained shamak she's trained javed jafri she's tra- trained just about everybody and in fact they all started off with her so Yes, Carla's our associate director on this one. In fact, Shamak's our choreographer. We have a huge amount of talent. We've had um Deirdre, Deirdre Lobo from San Francisco doing our vocal training. So we did all our vocal direction on Skype. It was quite an unusual experience to say the least and people were most skeptical in the beginning and they said no no how are we going to do this there's no connection my god San Francisco 12 hours difference in terms of timing this that but i must say we we worked it through and there were you know you saw the you saw the results they were really great and of course Mimosa has done all our choral training um so there's a huge team out there really that's that's done a lot of work and what we especially at ace that's our production house um we believe in we really believe in showcasing talent i believe that there's a huge amount of talent in this country i'm sick and fed up of people telling me how oh you know but why can't we do it like broadway and why can't we do it like west and then you know you answer this right now just as you as you you know started off i think it's important to be able to set the bar to maintain standards and to showcase talent in a way that it should be music and back with rail padamsi Got a question for you. Didn't you think of having live musicians in the well? Not to say that we have wells in major Mumbai <laughs> theatres. Sometimes I wish we did. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, I know that they're singing minus one. They're actually singing live. Right. But in terms of All having of a live band there, just not feasible in Mumbai. Well, yeah. you know, there's lots of stuff that we do have some live instrumentation, but um, the the actual thing of getting maybe a seven eight ten piece band in and committing them getting them to commit because they all have gigs they all have other stuff going on to rehearse for three to six months you know i can't see any band really giving up that kind of time but what we did do is for a lot of the stuff is that we did have a live band playing and then we recorded it my father was very clear he said i want no digitized ah, sound so no separate musicians so, doing a guitar part and going away no, and a drum no, part and going and nothing, away no and nothing no digitized sound. it was all live so he wanted that 70s rock musical feel you know and that's why the music works i think because it has this raw kind of energy which was very he was very insistent on it and i said no we can't do it we can't afford it and he said no this is it <laughs> and when he says that you got to listen this is true <laughs> this is true <laughs> pictures of the lovely rail coming up hanging in studio Uh, on twitter as well as facebook you might want to take a look you can also react to this interview please, uh, please feel free to, uh, to do so it's at h r i s h i k o i follow that handle you'll see them in the timeline and it's facebook.com/radio1.mum uh, which is our facebook page and we will tag ace productions and and rail's page so from there on you can take a look at those uh, sites too and uh, we're going to be back if you're sms savvy it's one space your comment and name to 53650 messages and back with rail 
This is Good Morning Mumbai, and you're with Rishi K. Radio One. The spectacular Ryal Padamsi is in studio. We're going to talk about her life and times over the course of the hour. We just talked Jesus Christ Superstar. Your dad doesn't suffer fools gladly. I know that. <laughs> and from the '90s to now, in my extensive radio career, I've interviewed him quite a few times, and I've always been nervous. Wow, really? And I've always <laughs> done my homework and read up and things like that. him and Nasir are two people I'm, yeah. I'm very worried about. <laughs> and you know, there are there are people, the newbies in the office who turn. and say what is this guy studying and then they realize that it's a nasir interview or it's an okay. alik interview because you don't get it wrong so what does he think i mean uh, he is it's, it's a tough call i mean nandu bhende on one side and you know these guys on the other i know, I know. Does, what does he think of the, of the current version he is i can't tell you he's so excited you know he's been wanting to do this for the last 40 years i have to tell you <laughs> ever since he stopped he's always wanted to do it again and we've been trying to you know get it up and running to get a musical on the boards is very tough to it's really really tough so finally got everything together and he was over the moon because we saw so much talent he said no this is it we're going to have two simultaneous productions and two interpretations so because we have so much talent we can't just choose one and not the other so this is what it is and rather than do just one play he's doing now two plays of course for our production company that makes life doubly difficult but it's so exciting i can't tell you it's why do you call it the x cast and the y cast in fact i had a, a, i was for a moment trying to figure out whether i saw x or y why is it called so <laughs> <laughs> well the different casts really i mean one is x one is y so that the principal characters are um two you know two sets one is an x set and one is a y set and of course the apostles and the ensemble or all are similar and they have just worked so hard i can't tell you we've had i'll just give you an example for last week we've had 7 days of back to back shows in terms of for the for the ensemble and the apostles they have literally performed for 7 shows with no break and they're on from start to finish so i'll just tell you the kind of um dedication passion and the talent is enormous in this city it really really needs the right kind of showcasing and you've been preparing for this for what 6 months rehearsal started when right actually we started um auditions you won't believe it last february wow yes february or march and we auditioned across the country it wasn't only in bombay it was pan india you know we were so determined to get the best This is Good Morning Mumbai and you're with Rishi K. Radio 1. Ryal Padam say for the first time on my show and I'm I'm uh, pleased as a pea if there ever was a term <laughs> like that. Ace Productions just picked up a major award, you know, and this yes. must be so so special. Uh talk about the award, talk about what it means to you. It's what the best theater group in the country yeah. right right and uh, best theater group and best for live events and production so this is of course um the live quotient award right yeah. the live quotient award and uh, apparently 91 professionals in this field um actually got together and that, that's how they you know shortlisted we have a huge very eminent jury and um we got up there so that was great it felt very good we're very particular about the kind of work that we do and the way we present it so i'm glad it paid off and uh, you know it's not really about the awards it's about being you know uh, it's about how you award yourself really i mean every single show or every single event that we do we have a huge amount of evaluation done posted for ourselves internally to understand how is it that we rated ourselves you know on a scale of 1 to 10 so um once you keep those kind of checks and balances in place i think it's very important for us to grow in that direction so yes to say the least it's it's been very very exciting to win the award and um we're very happy and of course we have a great team that's the most important thing i think that's crucial in any any line of work that you do well i do know some of the jury members i mean we're talking brian tellis uh, the founder and man who also does a wonderful blues show for us right here 94.3 radio 1 B- brian knows his his musical theater roshan abbas another buddy of mine who's uh, very accomplished done a lot of theater in delhi and now in mumbai he's on the jury and of course owen uh, from uh, from orange juice another man uh, who brings in a lot of these international bands and this is just you know the icing on the cake so many other people eminent jury members who are part of that life quotient and uh, rail and ace came up trumps <laughs> I haven't seen the yes. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen the the Rohit Roy and the Mona Singh play. Oh my god, you have to come. It's yeah, on the I 31st. Mu- I must, yeah, I must. 31st of Jan. Hmm. And um they've really done 
incredibly well if i you know if i may say so myself i mean apart from me saying this the audience has said that we've had like 5 minutes standing ovations you wow. know yes so it's quite quite uh, remarkable um rohit hasn't been on stage for a very long time mona this is her first theatrical stage outing so to speak she's never been on stage before but the kind of chemistry and the kind of way they've worked together with this play it's been wonderful it's been Unfaithfully wonderful for us yours is what right it's right right so that's on in 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 um january and february and hopefully we're traveling across the country and outside and it's a pure two that. character play that's what it is yes. so different from the scale of just guys i Skysuit. know that must be so exciting you know doing different things yes. i mean juggling in fact, those things yes in fact we just we just i'll share with you we just had a um photograph a photo op with our two casts x and y and our production team and we were 200 people on the on the St Andrew stage and we, it really took a lot to get those people in and get into one frame and then we had the production team of unfaithfully yours <laughs> and we were some total of seven <laughs> so you know you can it, as but it was both both productions were as exciting as as is all our work as i was just saying wonderful some more music with royal and back